A second chance at life is not always easy to get, especially if you've been in prison. But things may get easier for Baltimoreans who are incarcerated to return to regular life. WMAR 2 News' Janae Wright joins us now to tell us about a new program that is in the works. Janae? Yeah, once you've gone to prison and have a record, there are many things that may be too hard to do. Getting a job, having access to housing and health care can seem impossible, but help may be on the horizon. People who return home from prison often don't have the help they need to get back into society. People, when they're released back into Baltimore, have a plastic bag with their clothes, no ID, and then a voucher for $50. Monday, the city council made a final approval to create a new office, the Office of Returning Citizens. Its purpose is to make sure people from Baltimore who are getting out of prison have access to all the resources they need to successfully start their life again. Uh, so many people are returning citizens because of mass incarceration in the early 2000s. So how do we right the ship? When people who don't have access to health care, housing, job opportunities, or something as simple as identification to start their life over, they may end up back in prison. This is near and dear to me because my mother and father both are returning citizens. So it is about clearly about me giving people a second chance at redemption. Even though his parents returned, Councilman Torrance says he ended up losing his mother. My mom died of cancer and she didn't have access to health care because she had a felony. Torrance says he has seen the success this has in other areas like D.C. and Boston, which is why he's confident it will succeed. We have $14 million of ARPA dollars invested into it already. Um, that's how we're, and we're trying to rev up the pilot to do more persons. So that means we're asking reentry counselors as well as coordinators to help with just dealing with the day to day life of everyone. The program is in the mayor's hands now, and if he signs off on it, Torrance says he would like to see people who have gone through this type of transition help those who are going through it now. A person who has a lived experience and had trouble navigating, maybe you, you could be on a reentry action council and tell us how we can help you. And if the mayor approves the bill, it will take effect 30 days after the bill is signed, which means the city may begin creating the Office of Returning Citizens within the next few months. Kelly.